Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about the fact that so-called black women have degenerated and deteriorated for the past 30 years or more. And as the years went by they have been complaining that there are no good men left. But the modern woman has raised single women, not wives. So let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share the video, it's free. Women will shout it out on every platform they could find that there are no good black men left. Every social media site, every television show that will have them. When it comes to the black man, as far as the black woman is concerned, there are no quality men left. If that is not bad enough, women have launched an all-out attack. And their tune is, they don't need a man, and they can do bad all by themselves. Women have taught this song to their daughters, and this devastation has spread like a disease. Where today what we have from black women is an all-out assault on black men. First off, black women wants a black man that can meet some fantasy obligations for a relationship and marriage. They want the man to make at least 100000 a year, or at the very least, as much as she is making. He has to be a necessary height, at least six feet tall, and he has to be in excellent shape. And with six-pack abs, these women also want him to be able to fit into whatever kind of life they dreamed up. These women want to run everything in the relationship. They come up with the illusions that they see on television and movies. But if these women actually thought about it rationally, what reasonable and intelligent man would pick a woman that thinks like this? But that's just the beginning. The black women of today wants to be independent, do whatever she wants. She expects to be able to keep her money by whatever she wants. And she wants the man to pay all the bills. She does not want to cook or clean. She does not even want to take care of her own children. She expects a babysitter or a nanny. But there is more. Black women wants a black man to accept any baggage they come along with, children that they had from another man, back talking when you can't get your way, or working long hours away from your home. It does not matter just as long as they can do whatever they want to. Women today think that having sex with different men, acting like a tramp is acceptable. They think and expect that a man is not supposed to care. But men care, it matters to quality men. The expectations of the so-called modern woman is unreasonable, outrageous, and insane. This is the senselessness that black men have to deal with. And they say there is no good men, let me tell you, these women are not fit to be wives. They spent all their good years in school, chasing careers, and having hot girl summers. Then they want to settle down, never learning how to be a proper wife, or proper mother, for that matter. They don't know how to exist in a decent relationship with a man. Most black women are single because they walked out on their relationships or marriages for foolish and irrational reason. And women will tell you, one after another, that they deserve a good man, and they can't give you a good reason why. They just think they do. And the first thing they bring up is their education, or their career that they bring to the relationship, which most men could care less about. Black women have traded in being a wife and have turned themselves into side chicks and carousels, letting man after man after man on for a ride, not understanding that they have been tricked into casting the gift that the Most High gave them to dogs, and that is your virginity. Your virginity is a gift that was supposed to be given to your husband. That is the most honorable thing that you had that you could give to a man. But now black women are a shell of what was. A decent black woman is very hard to find. They are relics, antiques, and heirlooms of the past. The women today can't hold a candle to our great, great grandmothers. The proof is 80% of black women are single, and that is sad because that is going completely against their nature. The creator of the heavens and the earth created women to be with one man. The Most High wanted women to be decent wives and mothers. A man should not have any problem finding a wife, there are more women than men. But that's not the case, the truth is that there are not enough acceptable black women for black men, even for the limited number of black men that there are. Just think about it, one big glaring problem and turn off for men is the way women look and dress. It does not matter the education level, most of the women dress like they work in a house of ill repute, as a prostitute, face caked in tons of makeup, hair relaxed, or straightened or with weaves or wigs, trying to look like the so-called white woman. Most black women are so brainwashed. Most people look at you as a self-hating fool, because you don't understand that you have the best hair and skin color in this world but you have been conditioned to think otherwise. The Jezebel spirit is running rampant and unchecked among women. They color their hair blonde, blue, green, pink, or red. Our women are like sheep following one after another. Don't forget about the tattoos and the nose rings and how can we forget the colored raptor claws they call fingernail. A real circus show and for the world to see and have a laugh at the most high's daughters. We are the chosen people, but we have became a joke and a wise crack. 
Last but not least, those two-inch eyelashes, and what do men have to feast one's eyes on is a real-life clown and fool, who thinks she deserves to be a decent man's wife. And these women have no understanding, self-awareness, or shame. They will show up looking like this, and they are not fooling around. It is not a joke. They actually want men to take them serious. But the craziest part is, they will show up looking like this, and have the nerve to say they are not settling for any man. What is really sad is that most of these women will never understand or change their wicked ways. For the black men that don't have a woman or wife yet, it is like looking through the sewer to find something clean. The women of today have bit the apple. They have no clue of what a decent woman or wife is, let alone how to act like one. The women have turned themselves into abominations. They are a disgrace. I have been seeing so many black women out here receiving judgment because they are out in this world, participating in wickedness. 70% of these sisters are gluttons, and only the most high knows how many of them are entertaining demons. I care, my hope is that some of our sisters will wake up and look into the mirror and see how silly they look and how wicked their ways are. We are a peculiar people, we are a set-apart people. Black women wake up from the spill of this world, our time is running out. Change your wicked ways before it is too late. And start making some changes, as of now everywhere I go and most of the women I talk to, educated or not, are out of control and are not wives. I hope this will wake them up, because the truth is decent black wives are very hard to find. There are a lot of imposters out there that are not the real deal. It's time for all these women running around saying that they are good women and wives, and that there are no good men to change their tune. They need to look into the mirror. Is it the men or is it really you? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.